Welcome back to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in today. I wanted to bring you this review of a product that I think is an excellent product that is by the company called Frog Togs, and it is one of their ponchos. I've, I've used Frog Togs for a long time. Um, I've used their suits. Rain, they actually make rain suits, and I've used them for hunting, riding motorcycles, dirt bikes, four-wheelers in foul weather, or if you're in like a real muddy conditions and wet conditions, um, they're, they're, they do a real good job at that. Uh, riding motorcycles I used to keep a set uh, with me about all the time. This is my first experience with their poncho and wanted to let you guys know about it because if you watch my videos, you'll know I recently did a junk on the bunk video about my bug out bag that I was doing some rearranging and changing some things out. And I showed you this Swiss <coughs> uh, poncho here that I was looking at changing out. This is excellent quality too, by the way. It's just heavy. It's really heavy. And uh, it'll probably just be rotated out into my bug out trailer, something I could either barter with later, trade, use, maybe as a tarp, something like that. But I wanted something a little cheaper, you know, I mean, a little uh, more um, lighter weight and uh, didn't take up as much space in my pack. And uh, I know Frog Togs over the years makes good products, so... I hadn't done a whole lot of testing with this. I've watched some videos myself. I've read the reviews. Most people, it gets good reviews. It's made of a similar product. It's similar to um, Tyvex. When you get it, it's going to come in this packaging. And then it comes like this is actually how it comes inside this bag. It comes with its own bag, carry bag. So you don't have to worry about that or buying one or putting it in something. It actually fit in that. And... Um, that's how it will come in the packaging from retail. Um, it's basically a packable adult poncho. And it says, um, Frog Talks patented, waterproof, and breathable material. No PVC or sweaty, sticky films. Recyclable polypropylene materials. Packable and washable. One size fits men and women. So it's one size fits most, guys. And... Um, it's got the uh, hood up here at the top that's got a drawstring. It's got three snaps on either side, um, and then it just drapes over you. So it's pretty simple. One thing I like, the advantage to ponchos is it's a little more versatile than, say, a rain suit. Does a rain suit work well? Yes, because it covers your pants, you know, your legs and your top, uh, your torso area. But it's not as versatile because I can't make a shelter out of that. Uh, at least with this, I could potentially rig up some type of shelter. I can also use it when I'm wearing it. It'll actually cover my pack. So it will cover over my back with my pack on, so it'll protect my gear. It also, you can have your firearm underneath it uh, to protect it from, you know, drenching downpours, things like that. Again, I can use it for other things. I could use it for a solar steel if I needed to, to try collecting solar, you know, using solar methods to collect moisture and uh, water. So it's a little more versatile than a uh, separate top and bottom. If you want to go top and bottom, I understand that. Uh, just understand that they both have advantages and disadvantages. With the, uh, the actual top and bottom rain suit style, I have to put it on and then put my pack on. With this, I can just have either myself or a friend of mine grab my, if I have it near the top of my pouch, which you should, um, somewhere in a top pouch or an exterior pouch, where if it starts raining, you don't have to take everything out to get to this. It's pretty accessible. So I can either reach around or have a friend of mine or my wife grab it out. We can put it on each other. It can go over, you know, I can just leave everything on my pouch. I mean, my um, bug out bag or my uh, get home bag. I can just leave it on and put this on. So have it on, uh, if you're going to pack it, make sure it's accessible very quickly. So you don't want to have to dig out and tear a bunch of stuff out of your pack to get to it. And we'll discuss that maybe in a later video, how to kind of, how I pack a uh, bug out bag or a get home bag. But anyway, guys, if you're looking for something economical, this brings in at about the $10 range. You can buy them online at Amazon, eBay, places like that. But I did pick this up at the local Walmart. Um, I've got some um, of the American... Uh, USGI ponchos and the poncho liners, and I like those fine. Um, just wanted something a little different, a little versatile. Wanted to try something more common man in price that's easy to get to. You know, somebody might not uh, be able to get out to, uh, you know, want to get on eBay and order stuff and this, that, and the other. And the thing about those USGI ponchos, you have to be careful because a lot of them will have. Um, tears and things like that you're gonna to have to repair uh, right from the start because all of it's gonna be surplus 
and they're they're getting fairly expensive for the actual genuine USGI. Now there's some China knockoffs that I'm not so sure about that I don't know that I would trust for what they're charging for them. I just soon buy a couple of these frog togs for 20 bucks and call it a day. To be honest with you, um, because this one they do not come in camouflage in the ponchos. I wish they did, um, but couple cans different color cans of spray paint on this would break up your uh, pattern really well and uh, suit you fine as far as because this right here is kind of an od-ish green color and like i said if you want to camouflage it because it's 10 bucks go ahead and spray paint it up how you want and put a little uh you know break up the pattern a little bit and you'll be fine but anyway guys just want to bring this little video to you I think it's an excellent product for what it is. Uh, you know, as far as durability, no, these things are not going to be bomb proof um, just because of the material they're made of, but they're not a PVC that tears real easy. But if you're doing your part and doing it correctly as far as prepping or your get home bags and things, you should have some items in your kit to make repairs, whether it be to your torn jeans or your torn pants or, you know, broken shoelace or a torn poncho, you should have something in there, like say some duct tape to be able to make a repair. You know, I told you in my bug out bag video, I keep tear mender, I keep uh, shoe goo, a sewing kit. You know, I've, I've got some extra patches that I didn't show in my kit, um, but I've got little extra patches that I've, I've got cut out that I keep that I could patch, you know, a tin, a tarp, a poncho, something like that, uh, even a shirt if I needed to, or a pair of pants. So if you do everything correctly, something like this would serve most people fine. Matter of fact, I'm probably, now that I've got it, and I'm going to do a little testing, but I know it's going to be fine, I'm probably going to buy at least one or two more of these to keep one in my car at all times and uh, things like that. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you like our videos, give us that thumbs up. That's always appreciative. It's down there in that section below. If you've got any experience with Frog Togs, share that with us. If you got experience in something in a similar price point, to frog togs share that with us because i know there's some stuff out there that's really high end and things like that that uh, uh but if you can if you're going to do a comparison let's uh, try keeping it to where it's similar price point to frog togs if you want to mention something else that's more expensive that's fine um but i like trying to do some like comparisons so far i hadn't really found anything with a reputation, if you go and look on Amazon and places like that for the reviews, Frog Talk gets uh, excellent reviews, and they've been around a long time. Like I said, I've used them fishing and hunting and riding motorcycles and stuff like that for years now. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. As always, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll bring another video shortly. Have a great day, guys.